What's going on YouTubers, gamers and fellow hobbyists and welcome to this episode of On The Bench With Pete. This is the paint along, build along video that you put on in the background whilst you do your hobby. Of course you don't have to be hobbying, you could be doing anything. But that's essentially what it is for um, and I've found in the past videos like this really help me when I'm doing stuff like I'm doing today which is my necromunda houses and I because there's not many of them you know there's like 10 aside or whatever I'm trying to take my time on them but at the same time I want to kind of production line it um, because I want to get going with this you know as soon as possible but um, yes it can be kind of laborious so I make these videos and I listen to videos like this whilst I'm doing them. I've, I've, I've got through several to get to this point already, especially on the terrain. But let's get down to the bench. So grab yourself your brushes, your models, your glues, your cups of tea, coffee, whatever else you need. And let's get to it. Okay, here we go. Now I'm going to use one of these uh, milk bottle lids. Uh, the one I was using before. So I'm doing the, the red on the armour of the Goliaths here. Um, is that what they're called? The Iron Lords or something? I can't remember now, but something like that. But that's the colour scheme. I'm just basically following the colour scheme ish as to how the box goes. Now, this is quite a laborious task, so this is why I'm sort of making this video. Perhaps you're doing stuff similar to this yourself. I'll just shake up my Mephisto on the red. Actually, I don't know if I've got any more Mephisto on the red. Uh, do, 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 do. Let's see a look here. I'm going to pick myself up some more since I've got Mephisto on the red airbrush. Yeah, I'm going to have to get some more Mephisto on the red at some point. Right. Okay, so I just need to bear that in mind whilst I'm sort of doing this stuff. Um, now, yes, I need uh, what I do with this. Um, not too much at the time. I'll put some giant retarder in. And that usually helps quite a bit. I use that to thin it down. I, do you know I've misplaced my um, wet palette? So I'm not quite sure entirely where it is, which is a bit odd. Anyway, <coughs> I've got loads of stuff to talk about. So whilst I do that, I figure I'll paint my Necromunda, do it on the bench, and yeah. So, yeah, I hit the 1,000 subscriber mark, which I'm so, so grateful for. Um, you guys have no idea what that means to me. Um, really. <laughs> it means the world to me. Um, it, really, it really does. It, it seemed to be going so slow up until the point um, of um, Nick from Idic Beer 40k. He um, put a bit of a shout out on the uh, Wargamers Unification group on Facebook. <coughs> and things took off from there. That's, that's really good and I'm so grateful to Nick for that. So thank you Nick. Um, right. So I, I did um, I did a, a 1,000 subscriber giveaway competition video. <laughs> Sorry, I was just listening to something crawling around on my roof. <laughs> yeah, so I did a giveaway competition, which I'm excited for. Um, and uh, it'd be good to. Yeah, because I, 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 I like to, I, I'm a big fan of the mold line remover, as a lot of you know. I'm a huge fan of it. 
and um, I can't emphasize enough for myself on my own point of view how nice it is to use it because um, I'm heavy handed and I don't like to ruin models which I have done in the past with hobby knives and stuff so the mold line remover was a such a great asset for my tool collection in the, uh, the modeling side of things so yeah very happy with that so I like to kind of spread the, the love spread the word <laughs> Set from the rooftops how good I think it is, you know. I'll put some probably some evil sun scarlet um highlights on these things. These are bits of armour here. After I'll do doing all the base colours that I can do the first wash on first. So get that done. That's why I've not done the skin yet. Because I wanna put a general wash over the whole thing. Um, I've done all the main uh, base colours. <sighs> I've got. I'm excited. I'm this year. I'm going to be doing some work on my Tyranids for sure. And I'm going to be repainting some of them in well, in certain areas anyway, like the armour plating and stuff. Um, now this is really come about since I've watched a video um, I forget whose video it was, it was obviously it was one of the my new subscribers and I was watching their video and they were doing a battle report and they were they were playing against someone with Tyranids and I, I fell in love with their colour scheme and I fell in love with it so much I'm like wow I wish my Tyranids were painted in that colour scheme because it was very dark colours and it worked. It made it made them look terrifying. You know, I was terrified just looking at them. I was like, wow, they look intimidating and scary, and that's how they should look. Um, and I've kind of, some of you know, I've kind of got my own backstory for my Tyranids, which is they produce different types of Tyranids depending on what they consume from different planets. That's my excuse to enable me to paint my Tyranids different colours here and there and um, yeah that's uh, and it's a good it's a good reason a good enough reason I think but my harpy in particular is in sort of like a purplish um, armour plating on the top and I, I've never really fully liked it so I'm gonna re redo that you know, I'm not going to re-strip, I'm not going to strip it and redo the whole thing. Although, tempting to do the whole army. But I just don't have the time or the finances to do that. So I'm not going to do that. I'm, but I, I think going forwards I may, I may just um, stick with this um, new colour scheme that I have in mind. So I may, I may do that. Yeah, that'd be good. <coughs> okay, still on camera. That's good, that's good. My hands are freezing. I came out here and I put the heating on and... Um, and it is getting... It's starting to warm up in here now, but my hands are so cold. Sorry if I go a bit quiet on some of these more intricate parts. <laughs> I'm excited uh, tomorrow. I'm playing Zombicide. Um, 
with my friend and a friend of his, someone I've never met before. Um, so it'll be good to meet someone new. So we'll be taking on the horde zombies. That's something I like about Zombicide. It's a good, it's a good game to play when you first meet people, and uh, it's a good gateway game. I feel because it's a cooperative game. I feel they are the best ones to establish rapports and new relationships, and you know, because no one gets to be a douchebag, do they? Because um, you're working together. So you want to, you have a common goal to survive, complete the mission. Yeah. I don't think on the box art they've all got um, their arm pieces. Uh, red, but I, I, I want I want mine to have. That's why it's taking a bit longer. I'm gonna have some Balthazar gold in in the uh, some of the sections there, but that's that's fine. If I get through these in this video, I'll I'll start on the uh, Escher gang. Well, I've started on it already. What I mean is I'll I'll um, do the next paint colour on that which I think is going to be black yeah I think I'm going to do black Some stuff on the back I'm not sure about whether to do that red or no as well. I don't know, I'll, I'll carry on with this um, as go as I am and then I'll assess the situation later. <laughs> Excited for the future though. And really, really looking forward to getting stuff done. New games, playing old games, meeting new people. Yeah, it's going to be a good year, I think. Um, do more giveaways, hopefully. on the bottom of the boots to do It's like subtle armor plating, which is cool. I like that. Yeah, that's him though, I think. Ah, <laughs> oh, this one's cool. He's got uh, open access to his leg. So the 
the armor plate he's got on his leg is easily accessible. This is good. Very good. So, let me know as always what you're working on. I'd like to read those comments. So I'm looking forward to learning the rules for Necromunda. I'm going to hopefully do that with my friend. We'll learn it together. Because neither of us have played it before. Um, but I heard so much about it. Looking good, looking very good. I like that a lot. See, at the moment, doing these bits, it can look kind of messy when you're doing it. And you're thinking, and I used to be like, oh, like you're messing up the miniature, dude. experience now that it all comes together which we've done a couple um, phases of tidy up it looks really sweet <laughs> it's like I'm moving this all around uh, here is not super accessible. I suppose I could have painted him off the base first, but oh uh, well. Uh, I like to paint models as much assembled as I can. It's the way I like to do it. <coughs> My own personal preference. Some of these gun casings I don't uh, not really so much. Just thinking what I could do. Could get the stripe done on the trousers. And I'd, I'd just like to say um, to all my subscribers out there now, um, if I if I comment at odd times or you're thinking why is he commenting on this now or whatever, if I watch the video, and I because I've got so much catching up to do with you people now, which is great, absolutely fantastic. Uh, really helps those sleepless nights, which I get a lot. Of. It did have a period of um, it being alright, but it's starting to creep back again now. And I think that's because I'm, I've missed the willow bark a couple of times, and it's it does it kicks in, you know. For those of you that don't know, I I've got MS and. Um, one of the many symptoms I have 
is restless leg syndrome and burning leg syndrome. <laughs> burning leg syndrome. It feels like my brain's telling me someone's got a blowtorch on my feet when you touch them and they feel cold to the touch but not not to my brain and that keeps me awake at night and um, the willow bark helps Sorry I had to record my P&Q at home this week. I don't like to do that. I prefer doing it in the studio, but um, I just wasn't able to get here to do it. song um, right so this gun casing this gun casing top bit in red as well I have to learn the names of all these guns by the way that's gonna be cool as well <coughs> Guns. I think they're in the um, the gang book. I haven't studied it yet. I'll be honest, totally honest. I'm hoping they've got some pictures of the guns, though, or the weapons. So that I can easily and readily identify them. Otherwise, I'll be struggling. Looking good. Love the way they come out. Plus, also, if uh, I go onto the Escher house next, I know these will be dry in plenty of time then, but they'll be super dry by the time I come back to do the next uh, the next layer. But I definitely want to get this uh, Mephisto on red stuff done. Oh, I love Mephisto on red. It's my favourite red. I think of all time. So this is interesting, it's up at the inside of his arm there. I'm going to paint this bit here as well. When I come on to do the layers, 
the, the brighter layer of uh, or the highlight evil sun scarlet whatever was that a red what you know like depends how far I go I'll decide exactly where they go there you go looks like a little bit of a plasma gun on top of here what this dude's holding so don't know what that's all about right don't forget the foot plates Seems to have one here too. brush out a moment. Okay I'm back. Just sort out my brush. It's getting a bit weird on me. <laughs> uh, yeah I got a nice point on it. This crease in your hand is ideal for doing that. Just wet it. That'll give you a, usually a nice point. Just gonna have some coffee. Mm. I've got six down and four to go on the Goliath, so let's crack on, shall we? So here we are. I forgot what I was talking about now. Yes, that's long enough of a gap for me to forget. <laughs> I hope you guys like the um, giveaway competition that I'm running. It's about the moon. Really, because I'm over the moon, you know. I thought that would be a cool, like a cool tie-in sort of thing. I don't know. But uh, the fact does remain that I am fascinated by the moon and its mysteriousness. So, uh, yeah. As I said, I'll be, um, you know, I don't mind where in the world I have to post this stuff out to. It's a celebration. So I don't mind. Good side at the game because of these uh, stripes on his trousers. So I need to get that right. Ooh, it looks like a bit tricky at the back here. I need to top up my um, retarder bottle, I think. Uh, Handy stuff. I use it mostly, I think, in airbrushing even more than I do uh, with the hand brushes. But you know, it's useful either way. Just going in behind the leg. Some of these have got a really unusual 
line. Coming along. It's going to be tricky doing the back stripe on this dude because of this big gun he's got there. It's right in the way. Oh well, so be it. So be it. some of it here mm -hmm. yeah use some of it there I want to get as much of this done as I can I really want to get it all done today well, I will. I'll get it done today. I just uh, would like it done this session if I could. Hmm. So now I'm going to look the, uh, not the problem, the dilemma, or the, the nice dilemma <laughs> of choosing which, or deciding which mission we should play in Zombicide tomorrow. Do I go with one of the missed missions in the book, or do I do a custom mission? Um, I believe I've done a couple of good custom missions in the past. There was one I had with a collapsing rock wall face, and that was quite good. There was also one where I was trying to find a bunch of kids, if I remember rightly. Yeah. I still got to do this. Uh, Right here. Looks like I've done it by Jove. By Jove, he's done it. Yes, I like that. Hands are starting to warm up a bit now, which is nice. Really nice. It's like they work again, yay. <laughs> Feels a bit like Bob Cratchit, you know, his hands are so cold to start with. It's a pretty good heater I've got out here, I have to say. Pretty darn good. Right. Don't forget, like I said earlier, let me know what you're working on. 
Is anybody else doing Necromunda? Is anybody else into Necromunda? Does anybody else like it? Thinking about it? I'm going to be doing a series of videos on it. I suppose you can decide for yourself then. Uh, you know, from a beginner's point of view, do I like it or no? I I don't know. I'm, if anybody that knows me know I'm, I knows I'm the type of guy just to jump in, all in, and go for it. You know. Sometimes it works out for me. Sometimes it doesn't. I've had it before. Uh, bolt action was one such instance where it didn't really work out for me. I wasn't enjoying it. I wasn't feeling the love. And I played a couple of games of it. Well, quite a few games of it actually. But um, yeah, I just wasn't feeling it. Right, do is uh, shoulder. Quite a vicious looking weapon, this one here. A sort of curved spike on the end of his axe. Very vicious. Cool though. <laughs> I'm thinking. go back on another one I've done and do the same. Seems like you're doing an awful lot of uh, Mephisto on red. But it'll come together. On the clean up it'll come together. Bottom of his uh, X2. Yeah. Yeah, that's cool. All right. Yeah, so I got I got this fellow here as well. And I'm going to paint the casing on the. This part of his axe too. I'll probably paint these spikes lead belcher after, but uh, or Vallejo gun metal is pretty much identical, isn't it?
the bottom. Stripes yet. I wonder if I could revive that uh, Mephisto on red that's in the pot there with some fillers. Free to go. Uh, right. so these fellows here. Uh, right. Let's see then. Let's see if we can get these done. We're at 40 minutes, so it's uh, not bad. If I could get these done within or in the hour session, that would be awesome. Oh, I've got to do Matey's um, stripes on his trousers yet. Yeah, which one was I working on? Him. Come back to him. I'm just trying to avoid getting some more uh, Mephisto red out of the pot. <laughs> this breastplate. Awkward position. Got to go down to her mum's after work. It's my daughter's down there. Uh, they were trying to dye her hair, my daughter's hair, and it's gone wrong, so my wife's got to go down there and sort that out. It's uh, a bit of a nuisance for her. Not my forte, really, dyeing hair, <laughs> as you can probably guess. sword thing on his belt as well. That's going to be cool. I 
and we'll do it, you know, hopefully fairly close to the box artwork or the box pictures, whatever. And um, yeah, hopefully it won't be too bad. As long as I recognise them as a uh, house Goliath, that's really all that matters. And they're easily recognisable from my opponents. I mean, Escher and Goliath, you know, you're not going to mix them up, are you? So. Anyways. It'd be nice to do some other ones as well, I think. It'd be nice to get some skin tones down on this, but, you know, not rushing it, not rushing it. Strange angles again. Yeah, all this hair dyeing business, I mean, you know, dyeing hair different colours is going to go wrong sometimes. It's bound to, isn't it? I'm glad I don't have that worry. I'm super glad. Reminds me, I need to contact an old friend of mine I haven't seen in a while. Ah, oh, it's just running through my mind, something I've been meaning to do, you know. paints and whatnot that I need to uh, stock up on replenish primer being one of them to get some Vallejo black primer so almost out of that I mean I prefer to be honest I prefer the Panzer grey which I've got uh, but a lot of instances call, uh, to my mind, a, a preference for black. I have to do a lot of metal stuff lately, I suppose. And I know I've got a lot of metal to paint coming up. I've got to paint some guns for a cosplay. Three, three pairs of guns, so six guns. Four. and that was okay but I'll do six now <laughs> I don't mind it's uh, fun
some clean up on this. Yeah, the brush has gone really in. Splayed right open there, just that, that awkward moment. Uh, you know, it's one of those things. You can't help it sometimes. That's all right. I'll have to uh, clean up anyway, no doubt. Yes, I will. Okay. It's a good choice of primer. I this yellow Vallejo yellow primer. It's kind of yellow anyway. I like it a lot. Doing well. Got another open leg guard. That's good. See what on the side of his leg there? Excellent. I'd like to do my own uh, gang as well sometime. Make my own one up. I think, I think they'll start, they won't start looking uh, proper good, <laughs> proper good, uh, until the skin tones go up, I don't think. I'm not sure if it's raining half the time or if it's birds jumping up and down on my roof. I think it's birds at the moment. I'm thinking fish and chips for tea tonight. It's nice because you've got no no dishes. No dishes to do. Just eat out the paper and bam, throw the empty wrappings away after.
Let's try this again. Some of them are easier than others, you know. No matter what colour you do them, this is going to be the same level of difficulty. I'm going to have to tidy these up. Bit of ashen grey. That's alright. I'll tidy it up. He's coming unstuck from his base. That's not good. It's not cool, man. Not cool. If I had enough paint handles, I'd be using them, but I don't. Time it buzzed, it was telling me about uh, my latest bargains for ebooks. It's probably just as well I need to tidy up because uh, there's um. Places I missed on here, anyways. Yeah. Get the right angle, and it's, it's a lot easier. But uh, yeah, just got to get the right angle. <laughs> All right. As good as he'll get, I think. Before clean up, anyways. We're on fifty-six minutes. I, I may, I may do it. I'm not. I'm not in a rush. If it goes slightly over, it goes slightly over. How are you going to say you had a good hour of painting? <laughs> Might bring back my Q and S series later in the year. Who knows? You know, where the one where I ask the questions and you answer me. Uh, yeah, it might do. We'll see. It's cool. Last subject. <laughs> and of course, he's a busy looking model. Got this, dude. I got this. Aha, there we are. That's a better angle. Yeah. <laughs> Hmm. 
Yeah, I'll be doing I'll be doing clean up um, after I finish here. I'll go back to the early ones. They'll be dry enough to do that with then. Who knows? Next time on um, on the bench, I'll be a lot further on. Uh, like when I was doing the uh, the bulkheads and the things. And I, I, depending on how I enjoy the game, I may get myself another pack of those. Nearly there. Uh, that's that yucky stage where it looks all kind of messy and crappy and looks like you don't know what you're doing. Well, I'm not saying I do, but it looks like you just slapped it on there. And a bit like when I used to paint figures years ago when I was a lot younger. And I really didn't have a clue what I was doing. If it wasn't for my friend at school, I wouldn't have any painted miniatures. He was mustard. I thought he was mustard. I remember painting a wizard. I think I've told you this story before. In red. It's the only red I had. Like humbral red and that awful. This gloss paint that looks like I'd put varnish on him, you know, it was really badly done. Excuse me. Ah, sorry about that. I had a phone call come through, so I had to take it, but right at the, right at the end of the video anyway. So, what I did was I, I dealt with the phone call and I just quickly finished up what I was doing, and there we are. That's that is essentially what I've done. Um, if you can see those there now, that's not too bad. Um, so yeah, uh, let's get you slightly more in. So, so I've done the reds on them. Now I've done a little bit of tidying up with the Eschen Grey. Um, I know for a fact there's a couple more places to do, but I'm just going to wait for them to dry proper proper as it were and then yeah and then I'm going on with the next stage I'll probably come on to House Escher so far what I've done is a bit of yellows um, yeah so <laughs> like you know they've done some yeah start doing some I have to do the trousers blue or black actually I might do them blue anyway yeah we'll see but there we are so thank you for joining me on this episode of On The Bench. It's a pleasure as always. And a uh, bit of a different one, getting interrupted. <laughs> Doesn't always happen. Sometimes I get for a whole session and no interruptions at all. But thanks for joining me. Let me know what you're working on. I love to read those comments. You've helped me. Hopefully I've helped you. And um, yeah, also, are you into Necromunda? Do you like Necromunda? Do you think you might get into Necromunda? You know, little questions like that. Remember all brushes lead to war and I'll see you on the next video. Bye for now.